You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Brian Kelly, a couple of weeks ago, said that they were still looking. They were done after they added JVR Suggs. They were done with defensive tackle, but they might still be looking in the portal for other positions. He declined to announce those positions. Well, I think now we know at least one of those positions as uh, LSU's landed a commitment from Louisiana Tech transfer Blake Oxendorf. Um, Blake Oxendorf has had a little bit of a... Um, a uh, roundabout path in college. He started his career at Minnesota State University Moorhead and then transferred to Louisiana Tech in 2020 and just didn't play much at all. And then last year had a really good year uh, at Louisiana Tech. He ended up averaging 45.7 yards per punt last year for Louisiana Tech. So for context, that 45.7 yards per punt for Louisiana Tech would have been third nationally among all punters and led Conference USA. So this is a big get at a position that LSU desperately needed help here. It's a veteran player to replace Jay Bramblett, who had locked down that punting gig for the last two years coming over from Notre Dame with Brian Kelly. Now, um, We'll dive a little bit more into this here in a second, but I'll, a little more about Oxendorf. So, um, he had 48, again, 48 yards per punt last year at Louisiana Tech. Um, by co by, by uh, contrast, or by comparison, Jay Bramblett last year for LSU averaged 40.9 yards per punt. So, you're talking about a guy that averaged nearly six yards per punt more than Jay Bramblett, who's quite good. The problem for Bramblett, Bramblett last year is he only punted 26 times. That was the He punted 26 times in 13 games. That was the fewest in the country by, by far. Obviously, LSU led the, the nation in offense, total offense, scoring offense, so Bramblett just didn't punt often. But if you remember, it, Brian Kelly, after the spring game, talked about Peyton Todd's day. Now, adding... Blake Oxendorf, adding a punter, I would say, is not a surprise. Uh, because Considering these were the comments Brian Kelly made about Peyton Todd after the spring game. Not as consistent as I would like. Um, I, I thought today was an opportunity for him to just say, there is no competition here. And he's got to be more consistent, quite frankly. He's long. He's got all the tools. Um, he's a classic case of today, right? You know, you've got 14 practices. You look great. And today the, bo the ball was, was wobbling. It was, not, it was not what I was looking for, nor was it what he was looking for either. He's a great kid. But look, it's about performance on Saturdays, and he's got to do a better job. So I, Brian Kelly couldn't have been more pointed direct there about, about Peyton Todd who I went back and checked. When Peyton Todd was coming out of West Monroe back in 2021, he was ranked by 247 as the number one punter in America. And the book on him has always been that he's got a great leg, that he can boom the ball. But as you heard Brian Kelly say there, the issue has always been the consistency um, and the ability to kick directionally and, and control where the ball goes sometimes. Um so I'm not surprised they added a punter. I'm a little surprised they were able to find a punter of this quality this late in the process. It is May the 28th. So the fact that you still had a guy out there is fantastic. And this is a guy who obviously has been in Louisiana at Louisiana Tech after starting his career at Minnesota State University in, in Moorhead, Minnesota. So if nothing else, now you go into fall camp with a competition between Bramblett and a guy that's a veteran player who led his conference in punting last year and presumably is coming here to, to win the starting job. So we'll, we'll see how it goes in fall camp and who ultimately wins that job. So now you have options. But it also brings you new respect for Jay Bramblett. You know, Bramblett, as bad as special teams have been at LSU the past two years, and that's been well chronicled during Brian Kelly's two seasons in 
the the changing of the staff and the inability to find guys to return kicks and punts and all of it. We all we know how bad it's been. You know, the, the special teams efficiency ratings have been triple digits. So as bad as that's been, it does give you sort of a new appreciation for Jay Bramblett, the consistency he brought at the punter spot for the last two years. I mean, in 2022, Jay Bramblett averaged 44 and a half yards per punt. Now, last year I mentioned he went it, the average dropped to 40.9, but again, he only kicked 26 times. So how many of those were you know, pooch punts, were directional kicks where you were trying, you know, to him? But LSU also only allowed three returns all season on punts. So Bramblett was quite good at net punting, which is really what you're looking for. So in any event, um, you you need to replace Bramblett. You've got a highly regarded guy that's waited his turn but has been inconsistent. Now you bring in a veteran player to compete at that job, uh, to compete at that spot. So Louisiana Tech uh, punter Blake Oxendorf has picked LSU out of the transfer portal. And the Tigers now inch closer to that 85-man scholarship limit. So by my count, there's one or two spots available uh, remaining if there's anybody else out there that LSU could potentially add, but they've added a punter. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.